Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, um, let's begin. It feels like there's little or no movement uh, when it comes to a love situation, when it comes to perhaps a profession of love, uh, when it comes to a, even an apology, when it comes to healing a situation. There's little to no movement, but they are asking you to have faith, okay? Um, it seems like uh, there's not enough faith. Um, also, you will be receiving the news Okay, it's coming. Um, it, the uh, stork brings welcome news. It also brings in a major change. All right, so that is uh, what is coming in the near future when it comes to this situation. I feel like somebody here are looking. The, the, this, this is the bones of my reading. So it's like the skeleton that I build upon, you know. And so what I see uh, is that somebody is not making a decision. So there's little or no movement when it comes to making a decision to possibly apologize, to possibly try to restore or heal a relationship, that this is not yet happening. At, and, and that is how it appears but there are things <laughs> beneath the surface that are working to change this all right because the raven is here also so um we have movement we have the raven and we also have the love card all right so um movement reminds you that um all things change as part of the cycle of life. Um, so um, this card is like an omen of a change for the better. Okay, so um, it can bring challenges, uh, but what it's telling you, and this was the very, very uh, first card, okay, so it brings challenges that must not be resisted, okay? Because it's telling you that um, progress can only be made by letting go of what was, welcoming what is, and what is yet to come. The raven is where coincidence and divine synchronicities uh, bring surprising elements together uh, in which all things then become possible. Um, you can ask the raven even uh, to help, uh, to help you to become aware of these synchronicities in your life. So if you're feeling hopeless or you're feeling lost, um, you feel that nothing's happening, um, you may need reminding that this kind of magic occurs in your life daily, even if you can't see it. You need to trust it to bring you joy, understanding, and fulfillment, okay? No matter what the present circumstances appear to be. So the raven's appearance says to expect the unexpected. Believe in this kind of magic and uh, it, if you believe in it, it's like you manifest it. It's like then you can see it. All right. Love. So this marker reminds you to show kindness and compassion uh, to all the whom you meet on your path, okay? It asks you to shift your perception from yourself as a solitary person um, to one who's part of a living system. Um, love is, is what made you, 
and so it's asking you to keep this energy flowing um, it also uh, asks you to remember to uh, be ready to and open to receiving love as well the thing is the fact that it's appeared it indicates that one of you is blocking this love okay they're blocking it from coming in they're blocking it from becoming reality okay so um, someone possibly I feel is focused on what didn't work so I feel that that is the obstacle it's possible that someone's trying to return or something is trying to to come to you but it's being blocked because the focus is on what didn't work and so that is what will need to be changed ah look at that look what the next card was trust <laughs> yes and so it's very possible that this person has trust issues because their their focus is on what didn't work so um, it feels like with the cancer symbol here being in reverse um, it feels like somebody's very pessimistic there's a lot of negative thinking this is a suspicious mind um, somebody feeling very insecure um, possibly uh, a lot of self-pity all right um, and so although they this is somebody who's thinking of doing something but doesn't necessarily do it all right and so uh, they're thinking about sending off this message um, for and to to talk to somebody it's about a decision to send off a message uh, because they want to return to somebody that's what it's about but they're stuck and and this card of love is telling them you know where they need to shift their focus because clearly with this cancer symbol in the reverse here they're they're focused on what didn't work it's like a real sore spot for this person nine of cups in reverse in this deck is speaking to a longing okay this person is longing for this new beginning we see it here okay this one it's in the upright is about uh, it's like that self-pity it's that woe is me type of energy but in the reverse in this deck it speaks to a longing um, it speaks to somebody um, who's feeling like uh, something is missing in their life something ended badly and now there's like this emptiness and they're looking in the problem is that they're looking in all the wrong places for their answers there needs to be that shift in focus it is necessary okay in order to bring this back see there this this person had to be carried off the battlefield they're still feeling all of this pain um, and this there's that letter there's that message that they want to send off here it is it's in their hand I believe they come so close you know the bird is ready to take off <laughs> look at that it's like they're they're so close to sending that message off and then they don't do it and I bet that they've done this before possibly seven seven um, okay so maybe that that just came out <laughs> so possibly seven times you know or several times um, yes I feel like they they have it ready but they they write it but they don't send it 
because of the negative thoughts that stir up all these negative feelings and and drag their focus back where it shouldn't be, where it shouldn't go. What they need to do is get to the root of that. This person, they do very well in life generally, uh, but not when it comes to the emotions. So they're having a great difficulty uh, dealing with this. You see, they're afraid. Yeah, see, they're shedding light on this. They're afraid of what they're going to harvest, from what I can see, of what the harvest will be. In their mind, they're imagining the worst. They're thinking <laughs> that that... They're going to be torn to shreds, left in the cold. That's what they're thinking. And so, it's like with this uh, this Seven of Wands. You can see a person who is like on the edge. They're down. They're praying. Uh, it's like uh, they're preparing uh, to do something. It's almost like they're they've tried to protect themselves as much as they can. They feel like this person is feeling on edge. Uh, they're preparing to do something, but, um, or preparing to work with what they have left, which uh, the manner uh, of the way everything's set on this card, I would assume that they feel like they have very little to work with because they've got a little bit of room to move, but not much. So they, they have this... Uh, they kind of feel like maybe they've been pushed to this edge somehow. Uh, they feel like they have little little left to work with, but they still want it. They still desire it. They're still praying for it. They're down on their knees praying, God, help me. You know, uh, I want this so bad, but, you know, uh, this is all I have left to work with. Look. There's the wish card. And so I feel like there's a, a shift, you know, they, they keep shifting uh, in, their, in their emotions. You see, look, look, temperance is in the reverse here. The water card's in the reverse and death is in the reverse. So, you know, um, clearly, emotionally, it's out of balance. They're out of balance. Um... They may be feeling unable to adjust, okay, or to make the necessary adjustments uh, when it comes to their emotions, when it comes to uh, this upset that happened, or whatever is emotionally upsetting them. They don't want this to end, you know. Um, they don't want to lose this person, but they're having difficulties uh, dealing with the emotions, you know. And so here's the house. And I feel like a lot of this is they're, they're talking about the inner house, learning what you need to know in order to make uh, this happen, which is the, uh, the return. See, there's the hierophant there. If you learn what you need to know, here he is telling you, learn what you need to know. Learn it's in the history. It's in what's already been written. Look how he holds up that book. It's already been written what you need to know. You just have to dig a little in your cup to find it. This is the message. This is what needs to happen in their inner house in order for security and balance to return, um, in order for them uh, to succeed. If they do this, they will definitely succeed because I see the Hierophant is crowning him. So he's recognizing him for this achievement.
taking a deeper look. So, um, the status. Uh, this indicates a change in status. All right. Um, um, oh boy. So somebody, somebody who's on the outside here. Somebody who's on the outside. This person's on the outside looking in, and they've got this glimmer of hope. Okay, and um, their strength. So this is a very uh, challenging situation for this person because they they must face their fears in order to get this new beginning. That's what they're saying, and uh, there they are preparing now. The movement card is here. We see this Knight of Wands here. So they're preparing to talk. They're they're preparing to take action. And we saw that over here. They feel like they don't have much uh, to work with, but it, it feels like they feel they have to do this. This is something that they must do. Looking back at a past situation, um, it feels like in the past there were a lot of distractions a lot of negative thinking, most likely. Um, and uh, it feels undone, this situation in the past. So they're going back, and I feel with uh, new wisdom here, uh, they're going back to face these ghosts of the past in order to move this situation uh to a better place, to move this relationship to a better place. Here they are, very, very, very tempted. Oh, oh, really tempted to reach for that apple. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so a window of opportunity opens up, and it is this person that opens it up. They don't know what they're going to receive, but I feel that they are open, which is what they're supposed to. I feel that they are now open here to receiving this love. They don't know what they're going to get, so they have to go and face their fears here. And so, um, that is what I have for you. Um, definitely, there's, there's, there's some movement happening here, and they're riding back <clears throat> so this is somebody returning. The love card um, speaks to this. Okay, so somebody very special is coming back to you. Um, a love is definitely back in the air in the very near future for you. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has um, donated to the channel. It is so greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.